Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, this is a new week, and I assure you one thing, it's going to be a wonderful week. You know why? Because God is building you up. And you know why he's building you up? Because he has an inheritance for you. That's why Paul said, when he was talking to those elders in Acts chapter 20, he says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. So the purpose of God building you up is so that he will mature you and release your inheritance into your hands. That's why you should not neglect the thing that God is doing in your life. Keep following him. Be patient. Wait. Trust him. Walk the word. Soon, the inheritance that you have been expecting will, will be delivered into your hands when you mature. Say, ah, am I not matured enough? See, it's the trainer that tells when you are matured. So it's not you that say, oh, you know, you know, just like, you know, sometimes say, oh, you need to lose weight. Okay, I will lose it. I start going to the gym. And then you go to the gym one day. And then you, mm, mm, and then I have done enough. I should have started losing weight already. Oh, sir, you've got to change your lifestyle. You've got to make that a normal routine practice in your life. And that's how it becomes normal. Praise God. So it's the same thing with doing the word. Don't do the word for one week and say, I've tried now one week. God should bless me. No, make up your mind that doing the word is now your lifestyle. That's what you're going to be doing every day of your life. That's how you're going to face every issue of life by the word way. Praise God. So I'm going to be sharing something amazing with you this week. Very simple yet powerful. You know it already, but I'm going to be bringing some part that the Lord opened my understanding to see. And what's that? The Lord's prayer. Now, when I say let's say the Lord's prayer, I know you will just join me and say it. But hear me. We are going to be taking one verse per day. And I'm going to be open to you the riches that are hidden in those verses. This is important because at some stage in, in, in my Christian work, I had heard a message from someone I love so much. And I revere in the faith. And he shared and, and taught that it's wrong for believers to pray this prayer. See it's wrong for New Testament believers to pray the Lord's Prayer. And I believed that for so long until the Spirit of God opened my understanding and I began to see it differently. And that's why I'm bringing this to you because maybe you like you are like me. You had that kind of a message or maybe you've never been taking these prayers seriously. But I'm going to show you and I trust the Lord that by the time we are done, you will see that when Jesus said, Pray like this. It was a deep secret key. He was giving into our hands. Praise God. Now let's look at it from Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. Now Jesus speaking. He says, in this manner therefore pray. Now look at what he says. Pray in this manner. Pray like this. Now, what's the prayer? First, Jesus said, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Now, this statement alone tells you something that this prayer was not the prayer of unbelievers. This prayer is a New Testament prayer. Why did I say that? See, because the Jews are too afraid to refer to God as their father. You remember they stoned Jesus. They, they picked up stones to stone Jesus because of this. Because Jesus will say, my father. Which, which, which your father? What are you talking about? See, it's okay for them to say our God. Yes, but calling him father, they felt it was blasphemy. Now, Jesus speaking here says, when you pray, pray like this. Our father. Or you can actually personalize it, my Father, now hear me, there is no way that these guys were going to call God my Father except by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus knew this. Jesus wasn't going to release them into the world and get them stoned to death. So Jesus was talking to them concerning the New Testament. In that time, because the Bible in Galatians and in Romans tells us something, 
God have given the spirit of his son into our hearts. That is why we cry, Abba, Father. It takes the Holy Spirit for you to recognize and be able to call God your father. Now, when I said that, you may say, what's hard there? Father. See, just like the Bible says, no man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. He is not talking about no man can open his mouth and speak. Jesus is Lord. Anybody can say that. I mean, a, a Satan worshiper can say that. See, but he said, no man can say. Now, I've taught you before about how you, what you say and what you speak. Jesus, the, the scripture says, Paul actually said that, said no man can say. He's not saying no man can speak. See? So it's the same thing. He says that God released the spirit of his son into our hearts. That's why we say. That's why we cry. Now, crying doesn't mean, oh, I'm a father. No, that crying is saying. Because when you're saying something, sometimes you know, so, someone cannot be shedding tears, but you know he's crying. Like, like the Bible says, and he cried with a loud voice. See? He doesn't mean, say, everybody! No. That, it, it, actually, it actually meant he shouted. Listen. I'm telling you, without the Holy Spirit in you, you cannot say, and that saying means from the innermost being of yours. With all the knowledge, like when you say you're crying. See, what you're cry when you say you're crying something, you're saying what is deep inside you. So without the Holy Spirit, you can't call God Father. Now you see that this prayer was for the New Testament believer. It's for the believer who have received that spirit of adoption. And he easily cries out, my father. Hey, praise God. And when we say our father, we are, we are referring to him as your daddy. Praise God. Now, now, that's who God is. But without the Holy Spirit, forget it. And you know what Jesus said? Which art in heaven. Or who is in heaven. So he's not talking about your earthly father. He's talking about God being your father. Praise God. Now, that's a new revelation. That's why we hallow his name. Because he is good, he is big, and he is all for you. Praise God. This thing, we're going to go, like I told you, one verse per day, and I'm sure this one blessed you. So next time you pray, our Father, or my Father, and it's coming from the deepest part of you, and it's real, you're not faking it, because the spirit of adoption, the spirit of sonship, is dwelling inside of you. Praise God. Listen, step out today knowing you've got a daddy that loves you and that he is looking out for you. He is looking out for everything that concerns you. Have a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.